Good evening everyone and welcome to day 589 in my BMW M140i. My last video got me thinking. In my cars in the past, with few exceptions, I've filmed the speedometer when accelerating from 0 to 100 miles per hour. So in this video I thought it would be interesting to see how those runs compare and also how this car, the 140, stacks up against them. The footage that you're about to see in this video comes with the following caveats and disclaimers. Firstly, all of the runs that you see were filmed on private land. Living on the south coast, I'm surrounded by disused World War II airfields. Search far enough back in my video archive on YouTube and you'll find plenty of footage of me and others larking about on them for informal time sprints and drag races. Secondly, this isn't scientific at all. I've only used the speedometer to measure the time it takes to get from zero to 100 miles per hour. I have no fancy GPS timer or anything like that, so the usual margin of error applies when it comes to speedometer accuracy in each of the cars. And lastly, filmed spanning a period of probably something like 16 years. Clearly, they weren't filmed on the same day. So there will have been varying ambient temperatures and different grip conditions on the surface will also, of course, be a factor. They all did have the same driver though, me. So that's a consistent factor, allowing, of course, for any loss of ability from me aging 16 years in the process. Be warned though, some of them were filmed with an actual potato mounted however and wherever I could put it in the car to get a direct line of sight to the dials. Remember also that what you're about to see is what I've achieved in my cars. How they compare to what the book says I have no interest in nor do I care. This is just an exercise to see how my footage and how all of the cars that I've had and that I've filmed this in compare to one another. Now I mentioned I've done this with a few exceptions. Some of the cars have not made it to this and those are my 1974 Triumph Toledo, my 1990 Fiesta 1.1L, my 1997 Peugeot 306 GLX turbo diesel and my 2001 Ford Mondeo ZTEC S V6. I owned all of those before I ever had a video camera so clearly they're not going to feature here. My Peugeot 107, I forgot that car in my last video. There isn't a runway long enough or steep enough for that to get to 100 miles an hour so that doesn't feature either. And finally the last admission and I'm absolutely kicking myself for this, is my 2017 Ford Focus RS. In that thing, I filmed boost runs, launches, in-gear acceleration, I data logged all sorts, I had a camera on the dials when I was on track, but in all the time that I had it, I never once filmed a 0 to 100 mile an hour speedometer run. The only car I've ever owned with full-on proper launch control and I didn't film a 0 to 100 acceleration run. Yeah, annoying. So let's crack on with the footage then. I've got footage and filmed seven of my cars accelerating from zero to 100 miles an hour and in order of slowest to fastest, here they are. We'll start with my 2001 Ford Focus 1.6 ZTEC. this one. For most of these I don't have the original camera footage. I've only got the original files that I edited together to upload to YouTube. This one I knew was going to be slow so to make a point when I filmed it and put it on YouTube I cut in footage of my Clio 172 Cup doing 0 to 100 miles per hour in the time it takes the focus to go from about 65 to about 95 miles an hour. The footage of the Focus is real time though, so from start to end, here's the entire thing. Yeah. 
yeah, slow. I'll talk about times at the end when I do a side-by-side -side comparison. Next up is my 1997 Vauxhall Amiga 2.5 litre V6 automatic. One of only two cars here to get to 100 with just two gear shifts. Awful car, hideous, good for learning left foot braking in, and that's about it. Just ahead of the Amiga, which isn't bad considering it only has 105 horsepower from its 1.5 litre engine, is my 2005 Suzuki Ignis Sport. Sounds great that, mad thing. Now we start getting a bit quicker. Proper cars, more serious hatchbacks from this point onwards. Here's my 2009 Clio 200. And believe it or not, this one is completely standard. Yep, I had the microphone inside the airbox for that one. Can't beat a bit of pure, normally aspirated induction noise. And following the Clio is my 2013 Fiesta ST, which at this time was running 215 horsepower with Mount Tune's MP215 pack. <laughs> I loved the sound that Symposer made in the cabin. I love that car. Next, and quicker than all before it, is my 2003 Clio 172 Cup. This was running a KTEX Stealth exhaust, an ITG panel filter. It was decatted and had an R Sport ECU. <laughs> original YouTube video of that has had over 200,000 views on YouTube, my most watched video ever. And last of all, and unsurprisingly, we have my 2017 BMW M140i, standard engine running BMW's M Performance Limited Slip Differential and Michelin PS4 tyres. <laughs> too shabby. So that's each of them, all seven run solo. Now excluding the focus because of that interlude in the footage, how do all six stack up side by side? Here they all are in real time, all starting from zero and with times reported at the end as measured on my video editing timeline. record the Focus 1.6 ZTEC did it in 27.8 so nowhere near as quick as this thing but then this thing compared to all of those cars is in a different league entirely but how would my car my manual standard M140i compare with one that has the ZF8 automatic gearbox fitted what about one with the ZF8 with an exhaust and filter or how about against an M135i 
with an M Performance exhaust and JB Plus. If I can make that happen, and I'm hoping to, I should have footage and some answers to those questions in my next video. Until then, thank you very, very much for watching.